And he got very upset about that. Um, it was actually a bit embarrassing because the guy who invented the Canada line was actually Ken DeBell. And he was the guy who forced it through against everybody else saying what a rotten idea it was. Gotta get counsel. But the reason that But the reason that Ken DeBell thought it was a good idea was that he could sell it. Not to the public, but to the private sector. Because he managed to get on board with the airport. And the airport, you may remember, once upon a time belonged to the people of Canada. Yeah, it was. It was a federal facility, which meant that our federal government, the people that we elected, ran the thing. Just like the port. You know, the port of Vancouver, that was reported to Transport Canada, which is the department of the federal government. The people that we vote for. And what happened was that the port and the airport were given to the private sector to run. They already have unelected boards. And if any of you are unhappy about what's been happening at your airport or what's been happening at the port, now you know why. Because they don't have to report to you. They don't have to tell you what they're doing or why they're doing it. They just have to make sure that their pay packets get bigger. And their pay packets get bigger because they're growing and they're winning more and more trade. Now that means you've got more planes flying over you, that means you've got more ships parked out there polluting your atmosphere, about which we can do absolutely nothing at all. But don't worry about that, because the guys who run the port are doing really well out of it. And these are the guys who dreamed up the Gateway Program. These are the guys who sat down with the Board of Trade and said, hey chaps, we've got a really good idea, why don't we widen the freeway? Now that's not in the plan either. We have a thing called the Liverpool Region Strategy. And we voted for that back in 1995. And there is a piece of legislation, just like Bill 43, called the GVTA Act, that says the Board of TransLink has to follow the Regional Growth Strategy. And that's all they were doing. In fact, if they hadn't been upsetting TransLink, they would have been breaking the law. They had to tell Falcon that he wasn't doing it right. And that's why he wants to get rid of them. Because for the first time they've ever worked for any public body, a bunch of politicians found some backbone and started saying, just a minute, we don't think this is a good idea. Yeah. And they, it took three efforts before they managed to force that Canada line through. That's what upsets Kevin Falcon. That's why he comes up with ideas like, let's put barriers on Skytrack. <laughs> He didn't go and ask anybody here if that was a good idea. If he'd done that, there are professionals who work for TransLink. He says, let's have a professional board for TransLink. Well, we're already paying for professionals at TransLink. There are engineers, there are economists, there are planners, there are even accountants. And we actually spent quite a lot of time looking at questions like, shall we put gates on Skytrain? And we've been telling people over and over again for years and years and years, it will not pay for itself. But Kevin knows better. <laughs> Kevin went to London. Yeah. Kevin spoke to someone in London who'd never been to Vancouver, doesn't know anything about our system. So Kevin came back and said, I've got a good idea. We're going to put gates on Skytrain. And not only that, I'm going to give you money to do it, he said. Right. If you won't give us the money to put, buy more Skytrain cars, we've never had enough Skytrain cars since the day the thing opened. <laughs> if we had enough Skytrain cars to use the capacity that we have on the bridge to Surrey now, that would be the equivalent of 10 lanes of freeway. Oh. That's why we've been saying all along, you don't need to double the, twin or the, the highway. You do not need to twin the Portman Bridge. We have the capacity there now. You just have to use it properly. You could run buses across Woo! the Portman Bridge Woo! now. Woo! You don't need to build a freeway to run a bus. All you need is a queue jumper, just like we've had at the Massey Tunnel for the last, what, 10, 15 years? Works perfectly well there. I don't see why it can't work on Portman Bridge. It's this kind of idea that Kevin Falcon doesn't want to hear. It's this kind of thinking that Kevin Falcon gets upset by because it's founded on the basis of detailed, careful examination. It's based on <laughs> rationality and facts. We don't like facts getting in the way when we work for the BC Liberal Party. <laughs> what I'm really encouraged by is enough of you people have come out here this evening to make a difference. And that I find very encouraging. 
because on the whole, I am rather in favour of democracy. I'm not going to argue that we should preserve TransLink in its current format forever and a day. I mean, yes, they're elected mayors, but I would much rather see a directly elected body responsible to the voters. We'd like to see a few more buses, please. We don't think we need any more bridges or any more highway expansion. What we would like is actually to be able to get on a bus rather than watch 15 go past us back to the door. And I think that kind of thinking is the thing which Kevin Falcon finds so offensive. Because what he thinks is that if we get to vote for things, then he won't be he and his friends won't get an opportunity to make quite so much money. It's and true. isn't that going to be a shame? We are now going to take the message to the people who use transit. And that's the next thing we're going to talk about. And I'm not going to take up any more of your time other than to say thank you very much indeed for showing them what you think of them. Because it's what you think that's important, it's what you say that's important. Not what they say in Victoria, not what they say inside the Board of Trade. It's what the people say that matters. Because that's where the power resides. With the people. And it's up to us to show them that we are as mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore.